Bruce Harris never said he would recuse himself from gay rights issues. Bruce Harris said on the specific question of same-sex marriage, he would recuse because he had taken a public position as an elected official to advocate in 2009 for the passage of the bill and felt at that point that he could not be seen as objective about it. Now, judges and justices make these decisions every day based upon their understanding of both conflict of interest laws and the appearance of conflict. And Mr. Harris has made the determination that he believes that his advocacy as an elected political official for same-sex marriage creates the appearance of conflict if he were then to be on the bench being asked to decide that as an objective jurist on the bench. That's how I understand his position. I'm sure he will answer it more fulsome, in a more fulsome manner tomorrow when he's asked about it. Um, so, and then I heard, read Senator Rice said, uh, we're not gonna vote for somebody who's recusing on all civil rights issues. I mean, Bruce Harris never said anything close to that. But this is what happens down the hall. They get into this, they, they, some of these, these folks have a result they want, which is the defeat of Bruce Harris, and so they just make stuff up. It's like saying Janie Levecki is a Republican. You know, they, they don't want four Republicans on the court, so they just make up the fact that Janie Levecki is a Republican. And, and I think that it's the obligation of all of us to call them on this stuff. Um, all Bruce Harris said was on the issue of gay marriage, he would recuse. He was under, by the way, no obligation to offer that information. And I think this shows you the kind of integrity that this man has. He knows that it's an issue that was at the time of his um, nomination being debated and discussed in the state legislature. He knew that there was a court case that had been filed. And his view of how you fulfill your integrity is to front that issue and say, by the way, this is what I will do if confirmed to the court. I don't know how people can be critical of him for that. Those are people who are a result in search of a rationale. They want a justice who's gonna vote for same-sex marriage, and even if he has an absolutely defensible reason for wanting to recuse because of the appearance of conflict, they criticize him for it, because all they care about is the result. They don't care about the process. And in the law, process is very important in protecting the integrity of how judicial decisions are viewed by the public. Um, I, I, I'd also say that there was no such criticism that I've heard that's been given to the Chief Justice, who has recused on school funding during his entire tenure, who has recused on uh, the judicial pension issue. And why aren't these same people criticizing the Chief Justice for doing that? I mean, everybody on the judicial pension is issue, for instance, every judge is conflicted. Every judge is conflicted. So why did the Chief Justice recuse? You know, I don't know. Because once you get there, you don't have to explain it. Bruce Harris is taking the additional step of saying, I would recuse and here's why. So that there's no question about it beforehand. And I think that it's really ill-placed criticism to criticize a guy for being honest and telling you, I believe this creates an appearance of conflict. And you know, I think it's pretty clear that that's the way he feels, and he was honest about it. So, you know, I think these are folks who are just looking for an excuse to vote against a Republican on the Supreme Court. And that's certainly the case uh, as it involves um, Senator Lesniak. Uh, 